everyone. I would like to welcome you to the Mammosite Intern Spotlight segment. We will be featuring our 10 interns over the 2018 summer season, and we'd like to welcome Garnet. She's going to be our first intern that we interview, and so I would like Garnet to give a little information and introduce herself. Well, my name is Garnet Quater, and I'm from McCall, Idaho, so I live up in the mountains. It's about a mile high in elevation, so we get a lot of snow. Um, I've always been really interested in archaeology and paleontology, and I'm really excited to be here. So Garnet, what is your education background? Well, I actually went to Willamette University for my undergrad, that's in Salem, Oregon, and I studied archaeology and I studied biology. So what made you decide to apply to become a Mammoth Site intern? Well, um, I'm actually getting my master's in archaeology right now, but I just started getting into zooarchaeology, which is the study of animals as far as it relates to archaeology. And so I've studied a lot of bison remains that have butcher marks and things like that. And I thought it would be really interesting to get to know a little bit more about mammoths, since at one point mammoths and humans did interact. We just don't know the extent of their interaction. That's awesome. So what do you hope to gain by becoming a mammoth intern, by you know being involved in the mm -hmm. mammoth internship program? Yeah, I. I really, well, for one thing, any experience is a good experience. I think it's really nice to be here and to figure out exactly what I want to do um, as I move on in my education. Um, I want to see if I want to study mammoths further and continue down the zooarchaeology path, or if I kind of want to branch off into bioanthropology and study oh. human remains more. That's awesome. So what do you hope to do after you leave the mammoth site? Well, first I hope to figure out what I want to do for real, um, <laughs> but I hope to contribute to the overall um, knowledge of science. Um, I really want to make, to have an impact on the world. Um, I want to help us better understand past processes that don't necessarily make sense now, but that we know came about somehow. So I'm not sure specifically how I want to do that, but I hope to do it at some point. That's exciting. So tell us a little bit something interesting about yourself. Oh, something interesting. Um, well, I really like classic cars. My great-grandmother actually bought a 1967 GTO when it was brand new, and she passed it down to her son, which was my grandfather, and he gave it to me. And so I now take that around to car shows and show it off. And I always win best original. Oh, that's, that's really awesome. Fun. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. And then my other claim to fame is um, there is actually a picture of me in the National Geographic. I think it was August 2014. Um, I'm only about that tall, but <laughs> I'm there and it counts. So. It does count. <laughs> that's awesome that you were involved and that you do car shows and that you were in National Geographic. Right. So that's exciting. Well, we're glad to have you here as one of our interns this summer. And so that concludes our interview and our spotlight segment for this time. Please stay tuned for the next one, and we hope we will share that soon. So just watch for our videos as we share them on Facebook and YouTube.